Hi, I'm Stu McKamey of the USDA Systematic Entomology Lab. Now we're going to look at three homolodiscus species. There's not a handout for these, but I want to go over how to distinguish them. The first two are Homodisca vitri penis, the glossy winged sharpshooter, which is found in the USA, and Homodisca ichthyocephala, which is found in Mexico, and they overlap distributions in Mexico. And although it looks like there are consistent head differences here, uh, those the, there aren't. They can both look the same in terms of the head. The wings are very much the same. Everything about them is pretty much the same, including the fusion of these of these, uh, actually, I'll focus, maybe I'll focus on the lower one. These are the anal veins of the wing here, and they're fused for quite a distance. That's not the case in all homodisca. So these are very similar, and then uh, homodisca vitri penis is, is, all, is also similar, but not as similar as the others. Um, this was intercepted in Mexico, even though it's not found there naturally. It's found from northern South America and Brazil. And is a serious vector of citrus chlorosis in the orange groves there. So we really want to keep this out of the U.S. And to distinguish these clearly, you need to look at the genitalia. I'm going to show you the genitalia of each one and point out the diagnostic characters. This is the glossy wing sharpshooter, the ediagus. The posterior side is is to the is to your left, and it has these processes, two pairs of processes, which both arise eventually. I'm going to turn this into a posterior view, which is one of the important views and the important view for this series. You can see they both arise ventrally. There. Both processes, both pairs, arise ventrally. Now we're going to look at ichthyocephala, the Mexican species, that's so close. And it's very different. Here's a side view. Again, the posterior is to the left. And now I'm going to turn it to a posterior view. And you can see how different it is. Totally distinct. One, one pair is ventral and the other pair is dorsal. So it's very quick to distinguish these. You won't have to pull the ediagus out of the abdomens to see that difference. And lastly, Lucernaria from northern South America and a series vector. It also has two processes, two pairs rather, posteriorly. Here's a bad side view. Let's see if I can get that better. Oh, that's too close. There's a side view with the posterior to the left. Now we're going to go to a posterior view. And here's a posterior view with turning, so I have to be kind of fast here, with one pair and the ventral pair. And you can see as it turns that there's actually a joint there. There's a clear joint. These bottom, this bottom pair are articulated. 
and it's the only species in the genus where that where one of the pairs of processes is articulated. So it is also one of the more distinct species. And that's it for homo disca.